first 10 minutes was just introducing the characters that I've been obsessively watching anyway. <laughs> yeah, yeah. They like, kind of did it through the whole thing because right at the end, they're showing Bakugo and, uh, and Deku's quirks and all that. Yeah, I, I didn't need another explanation of the fact that superpowers exist. Yeah. I, I know who the tape guy is. I just don't care. <laughs> tape guy. Sugar guy's growing on me a little bit. I kind of, like, I didn't like him in the beginning, but I I kind of like the idea of that quirk as, as we go on, but... Yeah, I also want to eat candy and be ripped. Yeah, just be shredded out of your mind. So one thing I didn't do, which I said I was going to do, was go back and watch the final episode of season four. Mm-hmm. But after seeing this, you didn't need to because no. the, as soon you as you pop see it, episode, you didn't need to see the previous three seasons. No, no. Well, you do need to see it because it's awesome, but you didn't need to to follow what's going on here. Yeah, it's a 25 minute episode, 20 minute episode. Yeah. And um, there was three minutes of new stuff. <laughs> it was a good three minutes. Yeah, ladies. Uh, but, <laughs> but it's plenty. <laughs> but there was a lot of foreplay. Yep. <laughs> a lot of foreplay. Essentially, what they do is is tell you about how awesome Endeavor is. That they show us exactly what happened and. Uh, when when he fought the flying demon Nomu in in the middle of the city, so uh, Hawks and Endeavor were were getting together in I forget the name of the city, but they uh, they were getting together and a Nomu crashes through the window and Endeavor does he he doesn't get his eye ripped out, but he gets like his he, use of his eye during the one yeah. of his eyes during the fight is is gone, right? I mean, that's an awesome fight. I've probably watched the whole thing like two or three times. Yeah. Because it's just, it's the most epic fight in that series, I think. Yeah. Yeah, yeah just like, close. just like, you know, shoulder blade turbo blasting through the air. <laughs> they show that Hawks can use his, uh, his feathers to boost Endeavor. Because mm-hmm. the Nomu was just beating the shit out of him. And Hawks boosts him, and it was like this awesome thing where Hawks feathers were caught on fire, and Endeavor's flying at this no moon. He's got like flaming phoenix wings. It's like this is so fucking cool. When when you read it in the comic, it's cool, but when they animate it, especially how well the show's animated, yeah, it's like there's nothing like it. It's just it's incredible, and. uh the the feathers launch Endeavor high enough so that he can use his prominence burn at max without, you know, melting the city that they're in. <laughs> <laughs> Which I love. But that was that was like the first, I don't know, quarter of the episode was just recapping and, and finishing off what happened during that. Uh did you stay for the post credits during this? No, I didn't. Okay, I'll I'll uh, jump to that. Obviously, spoilers and everything for this, but they show um, Endeavor in the hospital at the end, and then they show Dobby, who's uh, in, who's the uh, blue flame guy from. I I can't remember if we saw him in the uh, the Chisaki arc, which is season four, but we definitely saw him when they're in the forest. They're trying to capture the kids. Mm-hmm. And he's he's the black haired blue flame guy, and uh, it it looks like he and Hawks are working together. And Hawks is the number two hero. Yep. So that was a little spoiler cliffhanger thing for the next episode. It's was, it was pretty crazy. So I don't. Can, I, so can Hawks see with his feathers? Because like they're doing stuff when he's not looking at them. I think so. I'm pretty sure he gets he gets some sort of um I'm pretty sure he can just see I don't I don't think it's any kind of feel or like um beacon type thing but I I think he can he can see with them. Yeah, so what must, it seems or, like at least or like maybe like a like a chakra thing like oh I can sense the 
cha- the, the the chakra of these clouds as I'm flying through them. <laughs> True. They're like little uh, scouters from Dragon Ball Z. <laughs> Each feather. <laughs> <laughs> So Aizawa is laying out the plan for the kids for, I guess, the semester. And has it even been a year yet and all the crap these kids have gone through? It's pretty wild. Um, they, yeah, cause, I mean, for some reason, I just assume that the big festival happened at, at the end of the year. Oh, that's true. I mean, was the festival their midterm? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> What's the final going to be? <laughs> oh, you don't want to know. It's definitely going <laughs> to... I don't know how these kids are just... They're still just, you know, happy as can be after all this crap. But Oh, it's because they're cartoon characters. That's true. And it's also what they've signed up for, so... I mean, it is kind of life in general. Like, you can't walk to work without, like, a rhinoceros man like, <laughs> flipping taxis and shit. That's true. They're probably just happy they're the ones allowed to defend themselves. Everyone else has to die in human form instead of turning into a snake and going down the drain like they should. Right. <laughs> that, yeah, still just t- that still takes me out of it every single time when you see crowds of people running around and like no one's using their jetpack ability to get the fuck out of there. Yeah. It's all like, hey, that's illegal. <laughs> fuck you. Yeah, so die or, you know, the law. illegally yeah. use your phone. Yeah, screw that. Yeah, I, don't know I mean, and I get like a lot of people have dumb powers, like, you know, oh, I can turn into a wheelbarrow. Not really helpful. Yeah. Wheelbarrows aren't taxi proof, but you got to think like a good 20% of people would have a quirk that's like at least somewhat relevant. Yeah. I can make coins fly. So I'm just gonna like, you know, throw my change at him and make a little wall or something. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Maybe you can get it in his eyes and escape. Yeah. You know? I can run, you know, I can I can run through something like no one ever runs through a building to get away and isn't a hero. Yeah, I, <laughs> I secrete this pus like substance out of my genitals. Well, spray it in his face. <laughs> <laughs> that is against your probation, Dan. Yeah. <laughs> ever since the Ferris wheel. <laughs> <laughs> But um, yeah, the drill so... is the drill is pretty intense. The the yeah. top three students in the school are basically going are basically playing villains, mm-hmm. and um, the number previously number one student no longer has a quirk, but I guess he's still a student. And I I love him in this. He is just <laughs> like like he like he he basically um loses a he basically loses a fight against you know a super villain. Gets his quirk taken away, and then like three weeks later, he's just having the time of his life messing with people. Yeah, <laughs> he's floating down one. The oh my! When he's run, when he's when he is floating down the river, just like making big circles. <laughs> yep. It's uh, Mirio Togeda, aka Lamillion, for for those who haven't seen it yet. But it's it's so funny. <laughs> and at one point, uh, Froppy and Minetta save him. And they they get him on the bridge. So one of the bridges was broken and he's floating towards it. It looks like one of the pieces is going to fall and kill him, you know. And Froppy and Mineta. Mineta actually was good here. He He's like flying through the air. I think Sugar Man thro- throws both of them. Mm-hmm. And he throws all his balls <laughs> and sticks the bridge. Like he does like a Spider-Man type scenario where like he would web the bridge together. It's like, damn, Mineta. And she flies down and saves him. And they're yeah, distracted I've... by what? Like an explosion or something? Mm-hmm. And <laughs> Mirio's like, whoops, I fell back in. <laughs> just... <laughs> he right. just basically leans off the bridge like, oh, yeah. no. <laughs> <laughs> and then oh. the uh, the two students that still have their quirks, they are playing, uh, they're playing villains. Yep. And they they just wreck the students for a bit. <laughs> Yeah, it's Hado and Amajiki, who is... Uh, Hado's the chick that throws, like, the sonic booms. And uh, Amajiki's the guy... Whatever he eats, he can use as, like... He can turn his body into that. Which is pretty crazy. Freaking love loved all these quirks. So, uh, can you imagine <laughs> buying, like, one slice of pizza? 
and then you can just eat yourself. (laughs) (laughs) Buy a supreme pizza and you get all these special pepper type powers. You think you'd ever be like really um, tempted? Like you short on money one day, just eat some saffron and go and sell it. (laughs) (laughs) That's a good idea. I guess gold be is a more obvious item, but I feel like saffron is less likely to be traced by the feder by the feds. True. Or like truffles. Yeah, he could drink some gold schlager. <laughs> a little bit of feta cheese. That's always expensive. <laughs> so the uh the as Jeremy said earlier, they do one of those quirk recap things where it's just, you know, every time you see a new character, it's like Manetta, great brush, you know that kind of that kind of thing. But I do. It's I not mean, quick. No, no, it is I, lengthy. This episode, if, for those of you who have watched One Piece, it's like mm-hmm. a One Piece episode. <laughs> yeah. Flashbacks, explanations that you've heard before. <laughs> I mean, is there anyone out there who's watching season five but hasn't seen? any of the other seasons, you know? Mm. I mean, there must be someone, but fuck that guy. Yeah. I'll Jeff. just start watching season five. No! Yeah. Just, we're in the age of Netflix. This is not... <laughs> this is not fucking burn notice where, like, you know, someone has the last three episodes T-voed. Yeah. Well, at least from this point on, for the rest of the season, hopefully, we won't have to see another... Uh, Oh crap, I just thought when so this season is uh the first half at the very least is class 1A versus class 1B and like a and I guess this isn't a spoiler, it's on the the cover art for the season. Um it's class 1A versus class 1B in like a little competition. So we're going to have to see that for all of the class 1B characters as well. I mean <laughs> which is more fine though because we don't know a lot of their quirks. Yeah, well, in in that case, it's actually it's actually helpful. Like, wait a minute, you mean she makes things float? Yeah. <laughs> who who? When did this happen? Yeah. What do you mean? Wait, Deku punches things since when? Yeah, I'm trying to think of who we've who we've already seen as the uh, from Class One B. We obviously know uh, what the hell's his name, Shinso, the guy that can control you with his mind or control you with a question. Yeah. Um, Deku won't remember that though, even though he almost lost to him because he's an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> the other one is we, the guy that was messing with Bakugo in the cavalry battle that you love so much. The guy that could like steal your quirk. Mm-hmm. The, uh, what I can't remember his name. The obnoxious blonde haired dude. Yeah. The, but, the guy that just laughs nonstop for no reason. Yeah. I wish he would spend more time annoying Bakugo. <laughs> yeah. Instead of everybody else. Just, yeah. just zoning just on Bakugo. Bakugo. Yeah. <laughs> and then he, he could try to annoy Todoroki, but he's not going to care. That's true. Yeah, he doesn't, he doesn't, he doesn't bother him that much. Uh, let's see. The only thing I have left is uh, Bakugo blowing everyone up. <laughs> I mean, Deku, I thought it was kind of weird how they're like, Deku, you got to hit him. And I'm like, it, it, it's still a drill. You can't just go smashing people because he has a vine arm. <laughs> right. <laughs> it's like Deku comes in with a smash and like he's going to punch him, but doesn't. And he's like, can you please surrender, sir? <laughs> <laughs> Pretty funny. Um, I did like that they were separating the 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 students. So. When when everything was first starting, they're like, okay, recon team. And all three of the people who were on the recon team knew that they were. I mean, it sounds kind of dumb, but each of the characters, they've been together so long at this point. They know each other's quirks. They have little subsections of each other, little little teams, you know, that they've talked about off camera, if you will. Yeah. Which I really like. It's like, okay, get Earjack Girl the dude with the tentacles and uh, animal dude. And, and we'll just, you know, get a, a blanket surveillance of the area and let everyone else split off. And so I, I did like that. Quick, get the cell phone data. <laughs> yeah. oh. 
Where's uh, Senku when you need him? <laughs> um, and the last thing I, I wanted to talk about was Bakugo going insane per usual. And he attacks Amajiki and <laughs> blows up everybody in the area. And for some weird reason, there's a cloud of smoke in the sky when um, Aizawa and All Might are watching. <laughs> <laughs> and it's shaped like a skull. <laughs> Did you notice that? <laughs> That's how good I am at using my quirk. <laughs> not only am I smart enough to not walk into a spike with my face, I can also calculate the trajectory of an explosion and make a skull eye form and make a skull eye in a cloud. <laughs> what a genius. So brilliant. They're just so smart. <laughs> ah, IQ. <laughs> And uh, are way for him. Ah. <laughs> the the kids that were still standing walked out of the cloud of smoke and they all had like scorched afros. <laughs> He's playing fun. those hairstyles. <laughs> He's Stephen Hawking with explosions yep. and, and legs. Well, even though we knew we kind of knew this was coming where this is going to be a setup episode because we've done many, many episode ones especially with that uh the most recent one we did was Dr. Stone season 2 episode 1 it's like i'm i'm always charlie brown with it though i yeah. never i'm i'm never i never click on emotionally ready for a setup emotion i'm always like i'm going to get that football and they're like <laughs> nope yep every time fucking noodles man <laughs> <laughs> love it but yeah i'm i'm definitely excited for this season, I can't wait for the dub. Um, it's going to be excellent. So the animation, I... the animation is still on point. Hell yeah! Uh, the the action that we did have was was good. The action we we did have was good. Um, the humor was on was pretty on point too. I thought. Yep. Sometimes, most of the time, I'm not a big fan of anime humor, but I thought they did a good job in this one with uh, Lemillion. Yeah. <laughs> Love him, man. He's just he's that the best. Shit eating, just that shit eating grin while he's floating down the <laughs> river. My three favorite characters in one episode. I love it. Lamillion, uh, Mineta, and uh, Asui. <laughs> gotta lo- gotta awesome. love it. Uh, Frog, Froppy. Froppy. Yeah. She's great. I didn't know her tongue was that strong. She was holding him up. <laughs> like ten feet in front of her. like the leverage for that, like 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 get a weight and like hold it straight out at like arm's length. You yeah. know, most people can't even hold ten pounds for like, you know, a couple minutes. Yep. She was holding a human being several feet away from her. <laughs> yeah, not just a human being, a jacked freaking tank of a man. <laughs> <laughs> she she was she was holding nineteen year old Mr. Olympia. <laughs> right. <laughs> So while while he was soaking wet <laughs> with her tongue, with several feet of tongue out there, which I'm not sure how that affects the weight distribution. I don't know. That's an interesting physics question that I'm not going to figure out. Right. That's yeah. That's uh, get out your get out your pen and uh, paper there for that one. Um, so we'll we'll be following along with this season for sure. I'm excited to see uh, to see a lot of the stuff I've already read animated, you know. And, and this is it's going to be a lot of fun. Definitely pumped. More excited for sure. <laughs> <laughs>